from the Wolverhampton Music Service and today we're going to have a look at a piece called um, German Dance, it's a violin duet, it's about grade three-ish, um, more work, something like that, not an exam piece but that sort of level. Um, now for the top part, uh, which most of you probably want, I'm going to play the tune, you've got some um, quite a bit of double stopping in, uh, the main four chords at the beginning are double stopped, so the first thing to do before you worry about what finger fingers you need for those, um, it's probably an idea to get the bowing organised. And at the bow, if you look at the music, you can see you've got four down bows and you need your bow across the D and the A string for those four. So just practice that first like this. Making sure you do quick retakes uh, between each one. Let's just have another go at that. One, two, three. Okay. Now, See if you can get your fingers organised to play the actual notes that you've written. You'll need F sharp on the B string and then a third finger for the D on the A string. And then do exactly the same thing with the bow that you just did. And then you've got another set of um, double stops, B in the next bar. This time it's easier because you've got the open D and a B together, so make sure your bow is even across the two strings. Just have a go at that one after three, one, two, three. There's also a couple of other double stops. You've got one at the end of the um, second line, which is an octave one, G and G. And you've also got one in the next bar. First finger on the G and an F sharp together, like that. So they're worth having a good practice at first, so that you can fit them into the tune nicely. Uh, in the second half, you've got lots of um, broken slurs, which all end up on up bows, things like that. That's also worth just checking first. And you've got a fiddly bit um, in the last line, but it's really just the top bit of a G major arpeggio. So have a go at that bit first before you try it. There will be a steady version of the whole duet played for you in a few minutes and then also a fast version if you really want to challenge. Here's the top part uh, just by itself. to join in. One, two, three.
at the bottom part, um, you will need some bouncing bows. Uh, really, this is quite an advanced technique called um, spiccato, but it's a good idea to have a go when you're around this level of playing. Uh, you can see little dots under the notes at the beginning that's just D and A together, but done with slightly bouncing bow near, quite near the heel, about a third into a bow there. You want it to just bounce, so it's not really your arm that's doing the bouncing, it's the bow that's doing the bouncing, and you want to try and get a little banana shape on each note. And again in the couple of bars later, different notes, it's the G octave um, set of notes. That last double stop is a bit awkward, you've got to get your second finger across both strings and try and get it in tune as well. Otherwise the notes are fairly straightforward in that lower part, so do have a go at that one as well. Once you've mastered the steady version, see if you can have a go at the fast one. Here it goes. One, two, three. and see the other videos that we've made for you and subscribe to the channel. Bye!